Today, the man accused of killing three people and injuring nine others at a Planned Parenthood clinic in Colorado Springs is due in court. Police say 57-year-old Robert Deere held them at bay for about five hours on Friday. CBS 4's Jeff Todd's live in Colorado Springs right now, and we are learning more about that suspect today, Jeff. Yeah, Alan, the New York Times is reporting that they have spoken to the suspect's ex-wife, and she told them that he was against abortion, but that it was never really a hot topic, at least in their discussions. And also, CBS News is reporting that this suspect showed up with duffel bags full of guns. Now, we are expecting this court appearance to happen at about 1.30. So far, online court records show that this man is only charged with one felony count, but we're definitely expecting at least two more first-degree murder counts to be added, as well as counts for the nine people who were injured, if those are assault charges or attempted murder charges. The suspect lived about 50 or 60 miles west of this Planned Parenthood building in remote Park County, and while much of the area around the Planned Parenthood has reopened, investigators are likely to spend several more days investigating that area, area, especially a nearby bank, which is still closed right now. There's been a huge presence of agencies helping out in this case, and we're learning that the Department of Justice's National Security Division and the Civil Rights Division have both been involved. That could be because of a federal law that uh, enforces crimes committed at a clinic. Also, the possibility of prosecuting domestic terrorism charges. Here's what the U.S. Attorney for Colorado said about this federal investigation. A federal investigation will proceed, but our job first and foremost is to assist the state and local authorities. The mayor for Colorado Springs right now is a former U.S. attorney. He has told the media that while he could see a federal investigation play out as far as these homicide charges, he thinks that these are going to happen right behind us at the El Paso County Courthouse. We're live in Colorado Springs. Jeff Todd, CBS 4 News. Jeff, thanks very much. Three people died in the shooting on Friday. Officer Garrett Swayze worked for the campus police department for the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs and answered calls for help from other officers. Keep Pierre Stewart was a veteran of Iraq who ran back into the building trying to save others. And Jennifer Markovsky was a native of Hawaii and a mother of two. Both Markovsky and Stewart had accompanied friends to the clinic. We have more stories and memories about those killed during that attack on Friday on our website at CBSDenver.com.